Hi, Rob Rocks here for Point Blank Music School. This is the second part of the multi-series Making a Track in Logic Pro X. In this part we are talking about programming and how you work with audio samples and MIDI tracks. I'll also show you how you optimize your workflow by using channel strips and pre-built settings. If you want to learn more about music production, make sure you check out our courses at pointblanklondon.com. Let's start with channel strips. In Logic Pro X you have the possibility of creating and saving your own channel strips. That means whenever I have a sound that I want to use in different productions, I'll I can save the synth settings and effects as a channel strip. Um, this is a B that I've created. Let's say I want to keep that lead synth over here. and save that for other production. I just go to settings and save channel strip settings as. Um, I created my own folder in here. I have all my sounds from other productions that I really like that I created and I can name and manage all my sounds very easily. Um, let's save that as synth lead so when I open a new project I create a new software instrument and then I go to setting to my folder and it, it um, it's named synth lead and I have exact the same sound in here um, another thing that's really cool about that is is um, layering. When I want, just want to layer that pad over here, I'll create uh, a new software instrument. I copy the same MIDI and now I go through my sounds. Let's go for plug synth over here. And as you can see, Logic saves all the synth settings and insert effects, the whole channel strip. So it's really great for layering sounds because I can just skip through my sounds and search for the right sound for this specific song. Beside the channel strips I also have pre-built bus settings, different settings for my submaster, my final master, I have settings for single instruments like guitar, vocals, bass. Um, I can switch and adjust my sounds only with one click. So when I get, when I just wanna have like a mastered version of that, like a quick mastered version, I go to my output folder over here, go to my final masters channel strips, and then I have my master plugins over here. I can easily go to the next channel strip. With the single instruments, it's pretty much the same. Let's say I have a vocal or a vocal recording, um, a dry vocal recording. I saw her groove with the bars that I saw her I saw her groove with the bars there it Again I go palm. to setting 
my folder that and I have young, different settings for believe. different artists. All secrets lost on by Rom. All I saw her groove with the bars there at Wardrobe Pond. I just go to the next that one. Don't like that sound. Wants to believe all secrets lost on driven by Rom. All I saw her groove with the bars on Wardrobe Pond. So I can skip through all my settings until I have a, a decent sound. And after that, it's easy to go into detail and adjust the single plugins. Um, so this is always, this is always like a very good starting point and it will save a lot of time. I want to show you another plugin which I use for my drum programming. I use Ultrabeat as my go-to drum sampler. Um, Let's open Ultra Beat really quick. Of course, you have all the factory presets in here, all the kits, but I use Ultra Beat as a sampler, so I created my own template where all the the all the effects are bypassed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mute the kick in this track for now. I create a new MIDI region and just program a new kick on the C1. Good for now and I'm able just to play the track now sorry I have to mute that vocal as you can see it hits on the C1 so what I'm going to do is I go through my kick libraries and just search for the right sample while the track is playing So I can skip through all my samples until I find the, the decent sound. After I have found the right sample, I can adjust the sound in Ultrabeat. So I can pitch the sample over here. I can adjust the envelope, make it shorter less attack, whatever. So this is my go-to um, drum sampler. Like that you can also create your own drum kit and save the whole kit so that you always have your own samples in the session. Another option in Ultrabeat is the step sequencer or the MIDI pattern. Um, I can go over here and play that sequence. See if that fits the track. I can just draw the hits over here, um, delete them. And whenever I'm ready, I just go to this pattern over here and drag and drop it into Logic. As you can see, there is the MIDI pattern and I can go on with the the editing in the with the piano roll. So that's a really cool feature of Ultra Beat.